Hello, beloveds. Welcome back to my channel. It's your Priestess Journey Divine. I'm with you with another beautifully blessed, inspirational message from your spirit guides, from the ancestors, from Amun Ra, my sun god, creator of all the earth, above and below. How you doing today, beloved? It is the day of Venus. Love, beauty, abundance is in the air. It's hot. The heat is on here on the East Coast. And we are loving the detox energy. Enjoying the last hot days of summer. We're complaining, but we will soon regret the heat. It's winter snow. <laughs> Season is soon upon us. The cold chill of winter. Going within hermit mode. Time of solitude and reflection, taking a breath, taking a break from the years, manifestations, work overload. Some of us can't wait for winter. I was born a winter baby, but I love the summer. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of fire in my chart. <laughs> but it's day of Venus, a day of love. A day of abundance, connecting with family and friends, letting our hair down, getting ready for the weekend. This is a timeless message, no matter, ooh, no matter when you see it. You will know this way to try and talk to you. But for the record, yes, we're getting ready for the weekend, y'all. Getting ready for the weekend. Spending time with lovers, loved ones, friends, family, children, someone. Someone wants to love you. Fire energy, passion, desire, want, sexual energy. Someone wants to love you, beloved. An old flame, a new flame. This person can be of a different culture. You could have been in a relationship of a different cultural makeup. Doesn't necessarily have to be. It's just the picture on the card. But the energy speaks desire, hunger, thirst, affection, admiration. A connection like no other. Twin flame. Missing you, craving you, wanting you. New love, oh love, we shall see. This person only intends to love you. No intentions to harm you, to hurt you, because you are very guarded at this time. Notice on the door, anyone coming towards you. You're not about to play in another season of karmic energy. You want more. You deserve more. You're willing to open your heart to love and love only. Not to potential. Not to possibility. You're living in the now in the moment. You're accepting how they show up as how they will be. This could be new love ushering into your life, bringing justice, alignment, balance, balancing the scales. If you have separated from an old relationship, if you have gone through a divorce, an ending, a death, a closing of a cycle, and you're walking into a new season, you're healing, getting back out there, getting your feet wet, so to speak, getting your groove back, you are now getting a new energetic feel for love, for friendship, for bonds, for new connections. This is universe, balancing, balance, balance, bringing balance into your life after you were done unfairly. 
unjustly, karmic interference, family and friends interference, community interference, constant opinions of others interference. God says, if you want love, love is always available. There are over 8 billion people on the planet. It amazes me sometimes now that I'm different. <laughs> How we obsess, cling, go through anxiety, pain, misfortune, mistreatment, abuse by one individual for so long extended periods of time when there are so many other entities, other energies, other bodies that we have not met, experienced, indulged, and pleasure in. We get stuck in these codependent relationships, these trauma bonds. Uh oh, come on now, spirit. Come on now, spirit. Do you see the ring? Do you see marriage? Do you see unity? Surrounded by earth energy, grounding, rooted, rooted in stability, loyalty, longevity, commitment. This is what you deserve. This is how spirit values you. You deserve more than what you had. You possibly know more pain in your lifetime than you have pleasure. And that is not what spirit wants for you. You are born. It is your birthright to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and secure. You could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, in your birth chart, sun, moon, rising, north node. We have Libra energy here. We have Aries, Sagittarius. We have Gemini. Twin flames, baby steps, starting fresh from the beginning, playful energy, building together, trusting in the journey, healing one another, equal give and take. You or your person could be older than the other. Well, obviously, well, yeah. On this card, it looks like your partner, if you're femme, he will be older. If you're masculine, she will be younger. He will be tall. She will be little. <laughs> Petite. Empress energy. Or he gives off heavy emperor, protective, nurturing, caring, beating. The ability to take care of you and the home and the family. Devoted, committed, strong. He's rude and grounded. And you are searching for each other. This Union will lead to marriage. This is your justice. You have already gone through the karmics and the worst. And you deserve real love, true love that loves you. Unapologetically, unconditionally. Securely, without the need of judgment from others, without the need for confirmation or permission. From family and friends, 
This is your love. Keep it quiet. Keep it safe. This new love could possibly bring in a whole new com community, a whole new family, a whole new support system. You could be merging families. You could be merging friends, bonds, hearts coming together. See the hands pointing outward? That is a sign of protection. A force field to protect your love. Those are the hands of your ancestors. This is divinely guided. It is protected. It will be protected. You need not worry. If you received interference before, you won't this time. This is a gift from God to bring sunshine joy, harmony, peace, elevation, energy, healing, restoration, rejuvenation, strength, confidence to your life, to your stability, to your foundation. You may love sunflowers, you may love the color yellow, you may follow if I got us deity or shoe, you may be an earth angel, you may be a Leo in your Lilith, in your Venus. Your new partner could be a Leo coming. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy of enlightenment of awakening, of revelations. This is your big reveal, beloved. Love is on the way. Lo love is on the way. And God is telling you to choose you. Choose love. Choose to forgive, to walk away from past hurt, past pain. You are not that experience. You have grown. You are so much more. Don't stop loving. Love is abundant. It's everywhere. It's within us. We are made from love, in love, of love. And there's the star card. This love will heal you in the areas that your life needs healing. Aquarius energy. This is your big reveal. This is the sign you've been waiting for. This is your guiding light. All it's being exposed. True joy. Crystal clear blue. The color of peace. Harmony. Yes. Water emotions. Balance. Beautiful star energy. You are a star, baby. You could possibly be a star. A rising star. You have a channel, business, podcast. You sing, write music, poetry, herbal. You're an herbalist. A farmer. Or you want to be. Maybe you want to buy land and start a farm, a family. With your new family. Maybe you want to move near the mountains. I see snow top mountains. Maybe you live in Alaska. Where winters are cold. Not a lot of heavy snow. But cold, chilly temperatures. Spirit says, climb your way to the top. Sky's the limit at the top, and that's where you're headed. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough. 
to keep me from healing. <laughs> yeah. You're going to get this love. You're going to get this love. Because Spirit says, you need it, you want it, you desire it. They are mirroring you at this moment. So many energy. Did I just not say so many energy? Yeah, I got it. So many energy. This will lead to marriage. Setting off in the sunset, maybe eloping. Maybe a new love rides motorcycles. A chariot awaits. Take you into a beautiful future. If you want it, it's yours. You could be in a same-sex relationship. Female to female. You could live in Florida. I'm here at I-95. I don't even know where that is. I-95. Two, me and you. It takes two, baby. It takes two, baby. Just me and you. Mmm. The wedding is in your future. They're going to ask you to marry them. You are their everything. And their chosen one. You've had to walk away. You've had to walk away from that past. Keep walking away, Spirit says, because your future is so much brighter than your past, which really doesn't exist anymore. It's an illusion of the mental mind keeping us hostage from a beautiful new beginning. Move away. Let go and let God. God is bringing you into the new. So go back to what hurts you, what harms you. Forgiveness is for you. And so is this brand new beginning. That's two cards. Oh. Okay. For some... And I have to call it like I see it. For some who are receiving an old love, returning, it will be restored. It will be reunions and reunification. It will be a handing and a meet. A handing. Oh, there will be a healing and a mending. This is justice being served after a karmic. Cause the ending in your relationship. The third party interference. This was meant to be your forever love. This was your soulmate. This was the twin flame. But separation had to be in. Separation had to happen. That's how it had to happen. Because you were headed in the wrong direction. There was too much going on. Too much pain. Too many lies. Somebody was headed in the wrong direction, but it's being balanced out. They're returning to you, and you will work again on this new love. It will not be an old love, because you both will be brand new. There is a soul contract that's still open that must be fulfilled. Is karmic, is watching and studying and trying to figure out a way to make sure this reunion does not happen. That this exposure, this awakening does not happen. That you two are not brought back together and that justice is not served. That you were meant to work together. You had a contract. There was a plan. 
now you will come back together and you will do the work together and you will fulfill the destiny together says God this karmic will face their own justice all is being exposed all is being revealed What's hidden in the dark will come to light. Your your questions will be answered. I know there are some of you that are saying, Oh, hell no, I don't want them back. Well, then this is not your message. Take what resonates and what does not. If you've healed and moved on, then do not engage in backward movement and momentarily, momentary toxicity. This is not your portion. The first was your portion, and you should receive it well. But for some who are unifying this marriage, this twin flame connection, you were married to this person. You had to walk away. There's a karmic interference. And there was dark spell work done against your ex to keep them hostage and confused about who you were, who this connection was. But it was everything. It was everything. And they are choosing you. They're asking you not to give up. Not to give up. They're going to get it right this time because they know what you need, what you expect, and what you want. And they know you will not settle because you have awakened, healed. You know all. You are highly intuitive, discerning, your intuition on point. You know what's going on. You've understood every assignment. And the assignment was for you to focus on you, to heal you, to prioritize you. And you've done so. The spirit, as above, so below, has the final say. If there was a contract that needs to be completed for the highest good, of the entire universe. So it shall be done. Open your heart. To letting God have his way. Less of me and more of you oh God. Less of me and more of you. And remove my need to control. Any situation. For God knows the greater good of all. Forgive and release. That stubborn. Unmoving energy. It refuses to let go of what no longer exists other than in here. And the baggage, baggage that you carry that you can lay away whenever you choose. Because God said you're worthy of love. You're worthy of love. And God will make sure that love has its way. Okay, Spirit, what's this karmic got to say? Oh, uh, your person feels abandoned by you and doesn't like it. They're still healing. They're still going through. They're still in that toxic energy. They love you. They know you are the one, but they are bitter. Angry with themselves that they chose the wrong choice. They allowed this karma again anyway from the beginning. They didn't see with clear vision. And now they're facing karmic debt and they're in pain and anguish. And they're a little resentful that you with the elevated, the wise one, didn't force them. To go down the right road 
when that was not your assignment. And if they're feeling abandoned and not liking it, you're selling their thoughts. Either way, they're remembering you. They're not liking that you have gone, you have walked away, and you've chosen to heal and choose you at the end of the day and let God have his way. They want it now. Someone is trying to neg negatively affect your health, either physically or mentally. That's that damn karmic. If you've been facing some physical health issues, emotional instability, one day up, one day down, cannot work, don't want to work, not motivated, can't be creative, you don't know what's going on, it's not your energy, beloved. It's dark matter being sent towards you. Fight through. Go outside and detox in nature. Ground yourself and root yourself in the soil and transmute this energy. Take those healing, protective baths, showers, detox in the water. Hug a tree. Give it away. Send it back. If you need reversal, a resend spell, a release, cutting the cords, whatever. If you need a little assistance, hit me up for one on one. Book an appointment. And we'll take care of the work and get it done. Get you out of this energy and moving into healing, positive, joyful energy. They know that your ex has not given up. They know that your ex wants you back. And they may even know if they are a dark witch and have gone within the realms that your karmic, your soul contract. It's not ended. It's not finished. They have gone through some karmic experiences, lessons to elevate, to grow. Because guess what, beloved? <laughs> guess what, beautiful? The rainbow. Like a rainbow. Massive success. It's coming to you after you release some toxic from your life. Someone toxic from your life. For those of you getting new love, this is your ex. They gotta go. And you made the right choice. For those, there will be a reunification. There's someone you need to remove that's toxic. Could be this karmic energy. From your energy. You may know this person. It could be a close friend. That your ex got involved with. Trying to get back at you. Turn sour. Trying to get information on what you were doing. While they were getting turned sour. And they. Leaned a little bit too much. On this friend. On this family member. For some of you. It's your sister. For some of you, it's your mother in connection with this ex. For some of you, it's a best friend. For some of you, it's just the negative energy that you're holding, that you haven't transmuted. For some of you, it's the same-sex relationship. For some of you, your ex got involved in same-sex situations as in bisexual or gay however you want to see it take it where it resonates you know the energy you're feeling what is that gut telling you are we walking away into new love or are we pursuing unification after resolution, after healing, a family situation, they can succeed, can be forgiven, can receive resolution, can receive a second chance, 
for those of you who are sure that this is not your future energy, you need to let go and let go for good. You need to cut those cords. You need to do your resends, your returns. You need to protect your energy. You need to walk away. Now you get involved in those constant gossiping conversations, those phone calls, those texts with common friends, family, constantly speaking their name and speaking of the pain. Let it go, beloved. You're constantly calling back in the energy that you're trying to release because you just are stuck in vengeance, in bitterness, in anger, in denial. That you may still love this person. And you can love people from afar. It does not make you weak. It makes your heart a lover. And you love strong. But if you're going to go, you got to go. Someone, needs, someone feels they need to compete against you. That is their motivation. For the things they do. Karmic energy. You know who it is. To be your ass competing. Get back in your energy. Just so you don't receive this new love. Could be karmic competing against you. Because they want to be you. They can't understand why your ass can't let you go. You decide. Your life, your choices, your way. But choose you at the end of every day. For your health is your wealth and you are your priority. Especially if you have children. Be a role model of strength and courage. And self-respect. This is when you like the video. This is when you tap that like button, beloved. <laughs> and show me some love. This is when you subscribe if you haven't. And come again for more energetic readings. If this resonates with you, you found a new home. Spirit will bring you more. Channel through me for you. To elevate your life to the best. But you got to be open to hearing and digesting. And not be so combative. When you don't hear what you like. We're growing. We're actively listening. We're accepting honest criticism when we need. We are God's children, and he disciplines us for good reason. Subscribe, share the video if you can. If you're bold, tap in. Leave me a comment. Are you the first or the second? Are you in, or have you let go? You want to write? We're letting go. Moving on, putting a green heart in the chat. If we're waiting to heal a family situation, if we're still loving, and we believe in healing and forgiveness. Give me a red heart in the chat. And for you comics watching, put a black heart. I love you too, boo. We can all grow. Simultaneously, but I accept all and I receive all exactly where they are. Yes, as within and so without, we reap what we sow. And God has the final say, for as above, so below. When God puts together, no man can bring apart. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Love donations, cash out, PayPal in the box below. Email for personal reading in the box below. Check out my beautiful Oracle decks in the box below. Leave me a comment. Leave me some love. Together we flow. Let's raise the vibration of this planet in unity and in respect for one another. On our own journey shall we find each other. Until we meet again, beautiful. Have love and have it your way. I say.